Man, we got a beautiful afternoon today. It don't get much better than this, folks. I had a guide trip this morning. I said, you know what? I'm gonna go out and seek some new spots for the guide trips for the balance of the week. That's what we do as guides. And we're gonna try You're gonna come along for the ride. We're gonna put slabs in the boat. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Looking for new spots on the lake for the guide trips. And I'm hoping we can find some single, single uh, crappie just roaming. Cause look how beautiful it is right now. That water is warming up right now. Mm -mm -mm. No doubt. Before I get started, I'm gonna show you right now, before that summertime comes, we got the new visors. Visors available, I think they're only 20 bucks at threepoundfishing.com. So before we get to our intro there, check them out. These will go fast. I think we only got like 20 or 25 of them. So embroidered, puffed three. Those are gonna be sweet. Let's do this. All right, guys. During these spawning conditions, one of the things that's a fact is a lot of these fish are gonna be high up on the water column. You're not gonna be able to get on top of them, but you still have to cast to them. So if I was in muddy water, I could get right up on top of this fish and um, basically vertical jig them. But because we're not in muddy water, we're in clear water, fairly clear water, we're gonna throw a float at them. And one of the best things to do is you throw a float out there and all you do is you let it sit. So I am watching my live sonar. I am paying attention to that, but at the same time, I'm kind of glancing up at my float once in a while, just to verify everything is true, what I'm seeing. But we're just letting it sit there and waiting for a fish to get tired of, of it being around. And that's the key. Basically, we're being a nuisance. And you can see this one fish. Let's see, I'll actually, so there's my bait. I'm really gonna blow it up there, which is not typical. Now here he comes, he's curious. He's curious and he might, and again, managing the line is big time on a float. So I wanna be able to set the hook immediately. There we go. That was perfect. All right, so not the biggest fish, but right there, solid fish, solid fish. We're gonna let that guy go. Let me show you this, this, uh, this setup. Now, I like using two different styles. I like to use this, this, the slit float, which is the slit on the side. It's a Kamel. It's a small little one and a half inch float with, it's kind of peg float, people, most times people will call it. I had that only down about two and a half feet, three feet, straight to the jig, right there, guys. And that's how you get it to sit right on top. You don't move it, you don't jig it, you don't do anything for the most part. Now you can, like I said, draw it back really slow, but this is a perfect setup for when I'm on a guide trip because I can take that float on, take it off. Now the other one is gonna be the slip float, and that's the other version right here. And it comes with beads and all that stuff. And I do like to have those rigged up before a guide trip because it does take a little bit more time to, to rig them up. But the slit float is quick, easy. You guys can check those out. I believe Grizzly Jig has them in bulk. That's where I typically get them. So make sure you do, you know, if you do go there, tell them I sent you. But that's a great technique for these pre-spawning fish that are sitting on these piles waiting for to move into the, to the shallows. So let's catch some more. Mm -mm -mm. So these guys are just hanging out here. That's a good fish. That's going to give us a plan for tomorrow. Ain't no doubt about that. Added a split shot. Now we're out here scoping them a little bit. Little guy.
Good fish there, guys. All right, guys. Beautiful. This one's got some tuxedo on it right there. Check that out. Very nice. Very nice. Solid eater right there. Letting them go. Now, what I've done is I have changed up. I've got the 132nd ounce black three pound fishing jig head, and then I've got a uh, bluegrass color bait. Now, I don't think it's necessarily the color right now. I honestly think it's how you're playing the fish. Um, and certainly this late into the day, we're getting close to five o'clock. Um, I don't think they're that aggressive. So you're having to play them. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, loop notch. This is the Comet Sniping Beret tied straight to the jig. Everybody asks me that question. Tying straight to the jig with the Comet is, it's easy. It's only 0 0.10 millimeter. So anyway, there you go, guys. Woo, baby, this is good. Good fishing this evening, I love it. All right, guys, I think we're gonna, we're gonna call it on that episode, but hey, enjoy the spawn, it's gonna be great. Guy chips are going fantastic. I do have availability in May. Uh, if you're interested, you can always send me a text message at 618-694-5162. Take it easy, guys, appreciate you.